My life flashed before my eyes trying to go to the Arboretum. This is Nairobi traffic, y'all. And then the fact that I did all of that to do this. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm seeing. Just. And then later. Like, it'll be like, doo doo, doo doo, doo doo. And everybody on the field. I can't deal with that. It's confusing me real bad because I can't tell. Anyways. Let's start the vlog. There's plenty of roundabouts all around Nairobi and every day during traffic time, this is what they look like. Like there's no rhyme, there's no reason. If you can get in, you get in. Get in where you fit in, basically. It was so busy, I got off the Matatu and I just started walking. So this traffic is crazy. Oh my God, they actually blocking like the opposite side of the street. That's ridiculous. Like we got two lines going this way and this way. You know, same way. But really this a two, you know, you know this a two way street. This is exactly what I mean now. Look. These cars, like starting with that white van, he ain't gonna make it. He ain't gonna never make it where he going. Cause everybody like it's literally like that all the way down the road. That just let me know next time make sure I leave the house early. No, I'm about to catch me a bike in a minute. Probably once I get to the main road. But oh, I meant to say I'm going to the park today. That's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to have a little picnic. It's not burning hot, so I figured it would be nice to go. The sky looking a little bit more clear. Just gonna get away with, gonna get away from him. He needs some help. He needs some help. Ooh. Street though. I think it was called Lakitia Street. Cute apartment. I mean, I wouldn't know how new they are or how they look inside, but you know. I was about to go the wrong way, but luckily the boater driver was telling me like, yeah, the walk that I wanted to take was very far. So he took me to the entrance of the Arboretum. But that man was driving like a fool. My life literally flashed before my eyes when like the police car came out of nowhere. But he had to get out the way because you know, in Nairobi or in Kenya period, y'all do not like to slow down. Tis near too. Y'all don't like to slow down at all. But I hate tapping a boater driver because they like to, you know, turn their head a little bit to try and hear you. And then that distracts them from watching the road. If it's busy, I just let them drive and focus. So this is the Arboretum. Apparently it closes at 6.30. And you know, you can't bring a water bottle, no chairs, no ball games, no, no fun at the arbory. <laughs> the bathroom closes at six o'clock, although the arboretum closes at six thirty and is sixty five shillings to get in. Which is not bad. But y'all strict. Y'all real strict around here. She said I could pee in the forest. Dang, that's crazy. Oh, here go bathroom. Let's see if they actually closed it. Yeah, they closed it. All right, it's closed. But I think I can hold it. If not, it's about to be outside. I got on this bright purple sweater. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm about to go way in the back of somewhere. But I think the little picnic area right there. So I'm not even going far. This is good. I will say it's a nice little park. I see people enjoying their walk here 
or whatever. Oh, and they charge a fee for like photography. So I'm assuming those people over there paid. Yeah, this is very chill. I don't know how far this path goes, but I really like the the stones. It's reminding me of Mexico City. That park, I can't remember which side it's on, but it's a park in Mexico City that's like, you know, kind of like that. This is good enough for me. I still ain't been able to pull out that picnic blanket. And this was really getting me. Oh, it looked cute behind me though. I'm gonna come back early. Early, early, early. Swear. Promise. And I'm glad I can actually feel there's not people around. You know, if you hold your phone like far out like this, yank. <laughs> That's how it gets snatched. Peaceful. Let me eat my little snacks that I got from the little shop. My bag probably smell like onions. I just got okay, it don't look like nothing. But I got chapati and two sausages and one of them. Sorry, I got one of them with the kachambar. I'm hungry. Bust it wide open and the tell it bring it back. What's the smoking wide open? These be good, y'all. Now, I haven't tried it all with the chapati, but, you know, usually just the smoky and the egg. But, I'm going to see how it go. It's good. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to be that man's best customer. This is it. Okay, so I never explained what kachambar is. Kachambar is like tomato, onion, cilantro sometimes. I think it's cilantro too. And then maybe they put lime and then they be adding salt. Now, if somebody make it any other kind of way, I don't know. I think maybe they add vinegar sometimes, but it's so good on them eggs. I don't know why they don't do the eggs in Tanzania. Or at least, let me say, in Arusha, I won't speak for all of Tanzania. I think I do like the salad in Tanzania better. I think, like how they how they do the cucumber, onion, tomato, la 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 la, la you know how they do that? They be making that salad and I be tearing it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my own mandolin and figure out how to do it myself. But it's like, how y'all get everything so thin? Like, the cucumbers be so thin. Like, like you can barely see the cucumber. It's good. And I think this actually uh my first time seeing chapati with carrots in it like that. I was like, what? This is different. But what do I know? Maybe this the Kenyan way. Maybe this, I don't know. I don't know why he put carrots. Let me just say that last night, that show, that got my energy right. It got my energy right where it needed to be. It's like, oh, I'm ready now. Like, I'm up. Cause it was my first time going out and being like, I love the vibe. If you come into Nairobi, just make sure you check Gecko Cafe's Instagram and then see who they got performing. Now, before you go, just check like the artist that they tag and then check their page and see if you know you'll like their style of music or the way they perform. Now, me, I didn't have a chance to check, but I just went anyway because I wanted to go to the Ferris wheel at Two Rivers, but 
it was a little too late and I wasn't about to ride all the way over there just for them to tell me, yeah, we shut this thing down 30 minutes before, blah, blah, blah. I'm glad I went. Like, you know, you always where you supposed to be. You always where you supposed to be. That's all I can say. Okay, so, like I was about to say, me, I don't know how I be getting around. I don't know. I feel like sometimes I be getting lucky because if I had stayed on that Matatu, I would have never made it here. Never. Or when I did make it here, I would have been upset that, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Just everything happens how it's supposed to. I'm not really good at speaking. But maybe because I don't actually have anything to say. I'm going to walk a little bit before it close. And you know, maybe I'll leave this chapati for the birds. Oh wait, no. No literary. Oops. You know what? I think I did learn something valuable today. You know, every time you go into the city, you learn something new. So, I learned like where to get off, to transfer, to get to, you know, where I'm going. So that way, I don't feel like I have to pay for a bike each time oh shoot there's something new there's something good so that means i'll be going to town more or you know a little more eager don't have to call an uber too much even with uber here you place the request for your ride then somebody may accept it right they may accept it then they call you and say, where are you? And I'd be like, I'm, I'm where the app says I am. <laughs> like, I don't answer like that. I just say where I am. Then they say, okay, I'm coming. Or they say, uh, are you paying with M-Pesa or cash? And I'd be like, do I need to cancel the ride because I'm paying with a car? Well, I got to that point. I'll say that. Because at first I was like, eh. Do you take car? Do you take this? I want to pay through the app, blah, blah, blah. But as soon as they say that, I'd be like, nah, let me go on and cancel. It's crazy. But I mean, I understand maybe it's easier for them other than having to withdraw money. I don't know how their bank accounts work here. Okay, so I like the Arboretum and I will be back. But I cannot keep vlogging because somebody walked up to me. I could, you know, I was paying attention. I was like, this lady, something about this lady. So basically, uh, of course, she was telling me, like, you know, she need help. And, well, she didn't even say I need help exactly. Hold on, my Uber driver calling me. So, yeah, like I was saying, this lady ends up telling me, like, okay, she's homeless. She been struggling for, like, three weeks. Um, her daughter needs school fees. And she thought I was about to pay for her hotel. Like, girl. But yeah, you gotta pay attention a lot of the times. Like, I was recording, but I saw her. And then, like, I was walking. You know, it's just me. It's just me. And it's getting late at the park. You know, they can't catch everybody. If she wanted to steal off with my phone or steal off and, you know, maybe pull a knife on me, anything. You never know. But yeah, luckily. I was like, yeah, let's just go back to the front. Let's just go ahead back to the front. It's about to be 6.30 anyway. That was a long ride. I will be taking a car back home because no way. I wonder if they got fair food. I don't know. We'll see. So the Ferris wheel is 500 shillings. I think that's technically like maybe $3 or something. I'm gonna get my money's worth. We are in it. <laughs> it's literally moving so slow. 
And what we're seeing in front of us is Two Rivers Mall, which I will be exploring after. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. I almost thought I stopped for a second. One thing I cannot imagine is if this thing is like in the movies, you know what I mean? Like in the movies, it like, it'd be like doo doo, doo 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 doo. And everybody on the Ferris will be like, I can't deal with that. The only thing I can hold on to is this bar behind me if something like that happens. Woo! <laughs> All the food places closed late enough, so that's good. Hi. Something that's right up my alley. Look at this dress. Every time I see this store, it looks cute. It's saying LCW Dream, or it was like, yeah, why, why Kiki? This store is cute. It's like probably 8.30 by now. So I think a lot of the stores are closing. I think this is a shoe store. Looking like shoe department. Oh my God. I think the lady said this is the way to exit the mall. And this look like it's for furniture, but it's just a setup, you know? This is two enticed people and they definitely got me. Paris Land Kenya, okay. Okay, let me be honest. I don't even have the energy to be running through a mall today. Okay, as you can see, I didn't do that much. I, I'm just a little too hungry. All I had was that chapati. Oh my God, I just thought about that. This really giving South Korea. It's a nice mall. It's honestly confusing me real bad because I can't tell what part is like actually up down like you know all three levels because I see the grocery store back there and then the rest is like is it only two or I don't know but it's a movie theater here they get everything everything here it's been a whole little afternoon you know your city lit if you got one of these. <laughs> I decided on like a, I don't know if they calling this Lebanese, Lebanese food, but really I'm gonna get a little shawarma wrap, kebab wrap, typical for me. The restaurant is cute. I like the decor. <laughs> Okay, so I ordered the lamb, but when I started chewing this, I was like, is this beef? So the owner just had them remake it, and he offered me this plate of sweets for free. He came to talk to me about how he moved to Nairobi, he loved Kenya, and he really liked the people and doing business here. He came from Canada, but I think he had Somali roots. Okay, I feel like I've been at this mall my entire life today. I'm ready to go. This is about to be the most expensive Uber ride home. I'm not coming up here no more. Not without public transportation. Or at least not late. I won't come late. Just came from that hill. I don't know if it's because I just ate or what. But that hill just really got me. I'm out of breath. But this is a stretch. If you come in here like after eating or if you got a lot of bags, I don't know if they don't let Ubers like 
all the way into the mall or what but my uber just like stopped right here at the front even my boater guy he only went like so far in and he let me out but okay i'm going home so when I met my Uber driver, he actually wanted cash. So I just left one foot out the door because he wasn't about to, you know, drive off with me and then maybe force me to pay cash or something. I don't know if this ever happened in Nairobi, but I don't like to take no chances. So I ended up having to, like, let's say, take one Uber to Westlands because it was so, like, uh, it wasn't very busy that late near Two Rivers. So yeah, I just took a different Uber to Westlands and then took one from Westlands to home and the first Uber driver I don't know I'm not saying he was aggressive but what if he did turn out to be aggressive because I didn't want to pay him cash because actually when I was on the app it kept uh he kept taking my ride every time I request a ride it's like he would just take it and I'm sure he knew it was me I was the only one really standing out there other than people waiting for the matatu. So I was like, man, no way. This man is like blocking me from getting a ride. But luckily, uh, the app let me get through to somebody else at least one time. But yeah, that let me know. Don't go to Two Rivers late and keep more cash because you never know. So, okay, that was the end of this vlog, y'all. It was a good day, even though there were some hiccups. But remember, there's always going to be hiccups when you go to places for the first time. It's okay. Then you'll know better for the next one. Okay, so bye.